sort of basis for the Wild West series for me uh, really came from my childhood, um, growing up in California uh, in the 50s. There was a sense um, still at that time, in a way, of California and the West as being um, on the frontier, so to speak. And that combined with um, you know, television at that point was in its relatively early stages, and many of the shows uh, in that in that time period were uh, had a Western theme. One of the things that, to me, makes the work so interesting is you know I'm dealing with these miniature toy figurines, and by creatively using a very narrow depth of field, um, I'm able to bring a sense of movement to these otherwise inanimate objects, particularly with the images of the cowboys or the Indians on horseback, being able to, again, use that narrow depth of field to make the the horse appear as if it was you know, almost coming directly at you or moving through the scene, um, you know, using that um, that soft focus. It took me a little while to sort of understand and uh, become more facile with uh, the unique characteristics of the large Polaroid format. Um, one of the most interesting elements was the ability to completely, from the viewer's perspective, lose the sense of scale. So that when you looked at my you know, Wild West Polaroids, it, it was really impossible to tell how large the figurines were. And um, I think that also added to uh, the sense of realism uh, in the photographs that you you know you really didn't know where these figurines were coming from what was interesting to me um you know when i did pick up literature back in the uh late 80s um that seemed to be a period when there was more and more emphasis on really describing the actual west uh, as opposed to, you know, how it was mythologized in films, you know, by people like John Ford or, you know, in the paintings of Remington and Russell. Despite however much scholarship um, is done, that the myth of the West is so ingrained in our culture that... Um, it, it feels like it's always going to be there.